Hello, my name is Jordan Graham. And I'm Jory Berger. And our project is on the golden ratio in beauty. The golden ratio is a mathematical equation that is widely accepted as the most aesthetically pleasing proportion. It is directly tied to a numerical pattern known as the Fibonacci sequence, which is a list composed of numbers that are the sum of previous two numbers in the sequence. We wanted to use this experiment to prove that beauty is subjective and attractiveness is not the only thing related to having symmetric facial features. Additionally, it prevents people from comparing themselves to unachievable beauty standards of society today. Our hypothesis was that yes, there are certain features and measurements that can make a person more universally attractive, but for the most part, beauty is subjective and having a proportional face does not necessarily mean someone is more attractive than someone who has uneven features. More scientists today have come out and said that the golden ratio is not necessarily the only measure of how attractive a person is. We wanted to test this theory for ourselves. To answer our research question, we created a survey where participants could rate celebrities based on their facial attractiveness. After we obtained those results, we found the ratios of each celebrity and compared those results to the golden ratio, or 1.618. We included images of 10 different celebrities, 5 male and 5 female. Additionally, we tried to include celebrities that are generally considered to be either conventionally attractive or unattractive. This is an example of the order in which we measured the faces. Beyonce was rated a 9 out of 10 by 41% of survey takers, but her ratio equaled 1.45, close to the golden ratio, but not as close as some of the other celebrities used in the survey. Zac Efron was the closest result we got to the golden ratio, his measurement being 1.6. According to the survey, 37% of people rated him as an 8 out of 10. Angelina Jolie was the closest to the golden ratio out of the female celebrities at 1.52. 33% of survey takers rated her a 10 out of 10. The rest of the results were very scattered across the board, ranging from 1, 2 out of 10 to 4, 9 out of 10s. Mm -hmm. Our hypothesis was correct in the sense that most celebrities with higher ratings were closer to the golden ratio than others. However, there were a few instances where the celebrities who were further from the golden ratio were actually rated higher by the survey participants and vice versa. Although we did our best to administer a survey that would give us correct results, there are some aspects of this project that could have caused the results to be less accurate. First, because all the celebrities we chose are very well-known actresses and singers, the participants of a survey could have rated them high because they associate that celebrity with a fond memory, therefore viewing them as more attractive. Additionally, although we did our best to find photos of the subjects that were facing forward with similar facial expressions, this was difficult to do without being able to take the image ourselves. Because of this, the ratios on each face could have been slightly different than what they should have been, which would have affected the final ratios in comparability to the golden ratio. If we were to continue this project in the future, I believe that it would be beneficial to take our own photos or even take the measurements in person so all, that the, ra so all the ratios would be accurate. Thank you so much for taking the time to look at our project.